through four weeks of the season. North Pocono is 3-1 for the first time since 2021. And enter a second half of the schedule filled with playoff type opponents. But before that, the Trojans hosting Abington Heights tonight. And Gianna Gali was there for a showdown of District 2 teams. Gianna. Well, Nick, this was no easy matchup either. Both of the teams, the Trojans, the Comets, looking to bounce back from a week four loss. A 3-1 and one North Pocono welcoming a 2-2 two and two Abington Heights into Trojan territory Friday night. I said it at six live at the stadium. Every score on the board would be well earned. And that's exactly how this one started out. Quarter one here, five first downs, an eight plus minute drive. Third down, Abington Knights quarterback Nick Bradley in the end zone. Comet seven nothing. Quarter two, fourth down, North Pocono punting from deep in their own territory. And it would be blocked in return for a touchdown by the Comets here, 14 to three. Early quarter four, the Comets third and six. Bradley connecting with wide receiver Gavin Anders, the final score of the night. Bradley was 10 for 10 before his first incompletion in the game. North Pocono unable to bounce back from its first loss of the season. Now with another, the Comets in the win column again, 21 to three. And Nick Bradley there for Abington Heights, a commit to Auburn to play baseball. So he's got a heck of an arm and you had a chance to see it in person. Yes, I mean, obviously this team has got something, you know, to prove along the way, but multiple sports he's talented in so <laughs> absolutely thanks John and we'll see you in just a little bit well over to district four a pair of teams with rich traditions are Mount Carmel and Montoursville the Red Tornadoes used a stout defensive effort to beat Southern Columbia last week and they needed a similar game plan tonight against a warrior team averaging 29 points per game the first meeting between the two since 2021 and this could be a November playoff game. We pick things up in the second half 17 10 tornadoes Gavin Marshalik to J Jalen Delaney. This is a sophomore introducing himself to the high school world Delaney untouched 81 yards down the sideline gives Mount Carmel a 24 10 lead in Lycoming County. We don't take time to sit down at football games ensuing kickoff. It's Michael Reeder for the Warriors. He says I've got some endurance to 90 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Cuts the lead back to seven, with the Red Tornadoes silencing the storm after that. Marshalik up top for Delaney. Eight catches, buck 83 through the air. Four total touchdowns from Delaney. Mount Carmel scores 17 unanswered to close out the game 41 to 17. Lewisburg on the road at Warrior Run, a matchup of two unbeaten schools. The Green Dragons, they blow fire first. Chase Wenrich hits Jalen Walker on a screen pass. And this is all speed and legs. Walker. Just outruns the defenders 36 yards down the sideline. Lewisburg leads 7 0. Warrior run driving on offense, but the Green Dragon defense stepping up. Tyler Kitchens intercepts the deflected pass. Lewisburg cooking all night. It's second shutout of the year. They beat Warrior run 24 0. Number four, Troy hosting Tawanda on homecoming night. And the home team always comes to play. The Trojans defense harassing Riley Vanderpool all night long. A sack there for Troy. And moments later, Evan Woodward connects with Brendan Gillian, who's seeing all green in front of him. A huge pickup in the Black Knights territory. Troy would score right after that. Woodward tosses a dime to Lincoln Shimmix for the touchdown. Another dominant performance, and they beat Tawanda 56-13. Coming up, Elena Lucido joins us to see if Hazleton area could win its first game at home this season. But first, it's the sights and sounds of Friday night with the Honesdale Bands. 